the last year. Challenging, really, really difficult. It's been tough. I've been traumatised all year, to be honest. It's probably the most stressful workload experience I've ever, ever, um, unimaginable. I think it's stripped something off every single one of us that we'll never get back. This last wave has felt like we fought a war. It's been the worst time in my working life. I think all of us all carry the scars and there's patients that I'll always remember and images I wish I could forget. The most difficult thing for me is the amount of deaths that we've had um, because of COVID. You look into people's eyes and you knew what direction things were going to move and whatever you tried, whatever you did, for a lot of people it didn't seem to help, it didn't seem to work. I remember being on the wards and it was almost like there's a disaster had happened and people were dying and all you could give, give is love. We had husbands and wives die on, on the same unit. They just died one after another. Holding patients' hands as they were put to sleep to be vented and those patients saying to you, don't let me die, don't let me die, David, don't let me die. And then them dying. Those patients stay with you because we were the last people that spoke to them. I think everybody's felt a bit like, how much more, how, how much more can, can happen to us? I started with chronic anxiety. I, um, I wasn't sleeping. Um, some of my colleagues started suffering from depression. And we have staff who I work with who have suicidal thoughts because they've been in such a desperate place. You know the saying that more nurses and doctors have got PTSD than people that have fought in Afghanistan because we haven't had the training for that. It's felt like sometimes that we've been working in like a war. Some of my colleagues I don't think could go on COVID again. They just cannot deal with it at all whatsoever. It, it, it's totally destroyed them. I think as a team, as a hospital, we've become a lot closer. We know each other a lot more. I think we're a lot stronger. We've learnt resilience, for me personally, not taking things for granted. Um, life is precious. If you ask any of us, we're just, we are coping. We, we get up, we dust ourselves off, we get in our cars. You are really proud of your colleagues, aren't you? They are. It's a privilege to work with them. And it's a privilege to see, see, see them. I can't find a word that's more than proud, really. Sorry. <laughs> they just, um, they've gone above and beyond anything, anything that I, I ever, ever thought possible. How do I feel now? Um, I'm still apprehensive. Um, I'm still apprehensive as lockdown slowly is released. Uh, cautious. <laughs> things are much better. Uh, we have a lot less patience now. Um, and things feel more hopeful. I'm so happy about the fact that we've brought the COVID numbers down and we are now looking after patients that we were looking after pre-COVID. And I do feel hopeful for the future. But I think COVID will come back in the autumn. And I think when it does, a lot of us will be scared. It's not going to go away. This is, this is going to be part of my nursing life, I think, until I, I retire. I'm optimistic that we'll heal. And we'll do it because we're an amazing team. And we'll heal together.